In this video, we're going to be talking about how to tie the Bimini twist knot. So this knot here is really, really useful. Um, pretty much whenever you want to tie like a leader. So this is generally going to be your main line. So from your reel, you're going to come to this here. It's going to be like a loop. And then you can attach pretty much, you know, you can attach whatever you want. But generally, it's going to be your, your leader material attaching to this. So you can attach your leader material with pretty much any like loop to loop knot. Um, the Bristol knot or is pretty much the one I normally use, something like that, but you can use whatever you want. But it's really, really good because it's it's pretty much a 100% knot, so this is never going to come undone. Like You can pull it on it as much as you want, it's not going to come undone. And it's also, since you have two lines here, it's going to give you increased strength, right? Because if you just have one single line and you know your, your leader material is just one single line as well, it's you only have the the single line there it could potentially break but in this case you do have the double line so whenever you are pulling it should double the strength of the knot but it's a really really useful knot it's pretty it's not the easiest knot to do your first time but when, whenever you get the hang of it it becomes really really simple and it's going to be something you want to have in your toolkit all right so before we do get started i just want to mention a gear giveaway i'm planning on doing so it's probably going to be at like 1000 subscribers and then i'll probably continue doing it every like 5,000 after that. So here are some things I'm thinking about. So we have for here, it's a bait casting reel. We have to have like a backpack, you know, a fishing backpack. I just toss everything in there whenever I'm going out. It's really, really useful. And also like a GoPro or something. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. If you do have any suggestions for anything else, just leave a comment down below and um, I'll figure something out. But if you do want to enter, I need you to do three things. Okay, so first subscribe to the channel like this video and comment giveaway down below. Just do those three things and it'll be automatically entered. All right, so if you do want to enter, then good luck and we will jump back to the video. All right, so I am going to be tying this line with some thicker line here just to kind of give you a better idea on what's actually going on. It's not going to look as nice as whenever you do it with normal fishing line just because it's thicker. It's going to be a little bit messier, but you're going to kind of get the point. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to make a loop, okay? So all you're going to do is double your line and make a loop like that. The loop size is going to depend on you know how big you do want it but you know you kind of want to give yourself enough to kind of work with whenever you're first getting started so so generally a loop around maybe like one to three feet will do so let's say you do want a loop about you know th this this big here you want to pinch it here okay and then you also want to make sure that your tag end so right here your extra line you want to make sure that's going to be like at least the size of the loop so generally like one to three feet again because this is what's going to you're, you're going to make your, your loop with so you want to make sure you do have enough so make sure you have your loop like this and then you also have your tag end and the very first thing you need to do is you need to like put your hands in like this and then you're also going to have your 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 finger pinched here and what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to make 20 twists in this line so a twist is going to be like this one two so you're just making twists along the line like that. So you need to do about 20 of these twists. So because I'm using thicker line here, I can only do about like six to eight. So I'm just gonna do six as an example, and it's all gonna do this exact same thing, but I'm doing six, you do t about 20 in your main line. So you do, you're gonna have it pinched here, you're gonna have it held here, and you're gonna have your twisted line in the middle. So what you need to do is you need to take this loop here and you need to secure it somehow. So there's a few different options how you can secure this. Um, if you're if you're on the boat, you could use a, a cleat on the boat. So you could use your foot. You can wrap it around your knee, or you could use your rod. So in my case here, I'm going to use this chair. So you just want to take your loop there and you want to wrap it around something just to kind of secure it in place. So you want to keep tension on it just like that. Now the next step is I'm going to hold the main line in my left hand and the tag hand is going to be in my right hand here. And you want to, our line's basically coming up this way, so our tag end's coming straight up. What we want to do is we want to kind of wrap it back down around this way. So our tag end's going to kind of wrap back down. So what you can do is you can kind of fold it back over this way a little bit just to kind of start it off. And then what you can kind of do is you can kind of hold it there with both hands. So, so I'm kind of pinching the tag end here with my two fingers here, and then I'm kind of holding the other line. So what you want to do is you want to start down at the bottom with, with your other hand and you want to keep a little bit of tension on this, but you kind of want to loosen it a little bit. What you're going to basically do is you're going to put your finger here and you're going to start pulling up. And when you start pulling up, 
it's basically going to start spinning this line back down. All right, then you should have something that looks like this. So basically our tag end is right here. And right here we have a double line of wrap here. So we, we wrapped it up originally, and then we wrapped it back down the second time by pulling up on this. So you should have something that looks like that. And all you need to do is you need to take your tag end here and tie a simple um, hitch knot around this here. So you're gonna take this, you're gonna go in the loop, and then you're gonna come back around through this loop you just created. And all you have to do is pull it tight and you'll have something that looks like that. And that's going to lock it in place. What you're gonna do after that is you're gonna take your tag end and you're gonna wrap it around both of these lines four times. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna go around and we're gonna come back through the loop we just created. So we take our tag end, go around and back through the loop. So there's one. And then we're going to do it again. Two, three, four. All right, so we have that. And we're just gonna kind of pull up until it goes tight. And it's gonna kind of make sure that everything kind of going nicely, make sure it's not all jumbled up, but make sure it goes tight. All right, so you can just pull on the tag end, pull on the main line kind of scrunch it tight. Yours is going to look a lot nicer because your line is thinner. That's pretty much the main gist of it. And that right there is how you tie the Bimini twist knot. So if you do want to learn about any other useful knots um, and how to tie them, I will leave a link for that down below. It's going to kind of walk you through all of the, all the more common knots and like what they're used for, how to tie them, all that kind of stuff. So that link's down below. And if you do want another entry into our giveaway, you can like and comment on our latest video, which is going to be the left of this video. All right, so hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.